welcome back. Today's story is the very inappropriate word, written by Tim Tobin, illustrated by Dave Coverly. Michael collected words. He found lots of words on signs, pizzeria, and a few on TV, sexy. He picked up new words at practice. Mother. And downtown. Scram! And even in school, where Miss Dixon gave the kids one new spelling word every day. Spokes. He especially liked it little words for big things. Spurs. And big words for little things. <gasps> Smitheris. And easy words for hard things. Brick. And hard words for soft things. Elastic. Every night, he took all his words home and put them in a box under his bed. Brick. Fast. Smithering. Blank. Squash. Pizzeria. Scram. Elastic. One morning on the bus, Michael picked up a word he had never heard before. When everybody was off the bus, Michael's sister said, <gasps> Michael, that is a very inappropriate word. What does inappropriate mean? Michael asked his friend. Dad, whispered his friend. So Michael hid the word in his pocket. That afternoon, Michael heard the word at the park. And on the radio. And even in the basement, where his mom was trying to fix the toilet. Uh, dear? Said his dad. Uh, don't you think that's an inappropriate word? Michael could see there was something kind of bad about it. But there was also something about it that he kind of liked it. The next day at recess, he showed the word to his friends. It's bad, he whispered. Scott tried the word out loud. Sherry tried it louder. Then Michael yelled it at the top of his lungs. Michael! Said the recess supervisor. That is a very inappropriate word. By lunchtime, a few other people were saying the word. Then, in class, it seemed like everybody was saying it. Class, said Mrs. Dixon, where did that word come from? Michael. Hmm, I see, said Miss Dixon. Michael, please see me after school. Finally, the bell rang. Michael, said Miss Dixon. <sighs> Michael, Michael, Michael. I need a little help in the library. I'm running out of spelling words, said Mrs. Dixon. Could you dig up a few new ones? I'll try, said Michael. Michael found words underwater, snorkel, words in the sky, nimbus, words underground, lava, words that spy, sleuth, words that fight, quarrel, quibble, words that sing, by brother, words for doing crazy things, shenanigans, sick words, pox, trick words, Presto, loud words, dynamite, slick words, slimy, words for nasty, heel trip, <coughs> words for fast, dragster, old words that new words surpass, egghead, <laughs> nerd, 
Words that crackle in your head. Kindle. Words that won't get out of bed. Slacker. Words that are solid. Huh. Words that are square. Cute. Words that you have to handle with care. Flimsy. 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 Words stuck together. Eyeball. Words to cut in half. Sawhorse. Words to make a baby laugh. Choodle. Words that stink. Stench. Words that soar. Aerodynamic. Words you can't get out the door. Refrigerator. Michael dug up new words for two hours and 45 minutes. Then Mrs. Dickman said, Thank you, Michael. That's enough for today. Okay, Mrs. D, said Michael. But is it all right if I take a couple of these words home with me? Sure, said Mrs. D. <laughs> Michael had so many new words that he lost track of the very inappropriate word. So, of course, somebody else picked it up. If you enjoyed today's story, please hit the like button. Thank you for clicking on Size Read in Time. Please like and subscribe. And make sure to hit the bell to turn on your notifications. That lets you know every time I upload. Thank you.